Hello and welcome to driving an EV in the UK. Today we are on this charger at South Shields. It's as you see a nice sunny day. There's a surprise for you in England. Well what we're going to talk about today is that my car came up with the little service icon. when uh, I started it. So I'm going, oh brilliant, it wants to go for a service. Don't like the sound of that. Um, so I thought, well, let's see what happens. We've had so many people who have complained about the cost of having the car looked at that it isn't good and you spend a fortune. So, so with that, I phoned up my nearest dealer which is in Gated. It's right near to um, the charger that I use at uh, Gated International Stadium. It's in sight of it. Uh, so I thought well we'll phone up and find out what happens. I don't really need a service so I'm not going to ask for a service even though I've got a service light. I want them to check more of it. <laughs> And, and see what comes up in that lot. So I phoned them up and made an appointment. It took two weeks for the to get the appointment date and that was technically Wednesday and today is Sunday. So I had them turn up, had them come, collect the car, take it away, do the work and at two o'clock they phoned us and said uh, the car's done, it'll be back with you soon and what happened was that the driver had came in, a, in a, one of their little cars, left it outside, took mine and went away. So I ended up with two items from them looking at the car. One I ended up with a video. Now if it will allow it I will show you that video. Good morning, my name is Connor. I'm currently at Vehicle Health Check. Today we'll sort the passenger side front wheel. We've got 3.1 millimetres across the tread. On the side wall, in a good condition. A few marks around the wheel trim. A three month recheck on the front tyre. Let's come around the inside. Steering suspension and braking components in a good condition. Electric motor, free from any leaks or damage. Coming across the driver's side again, steering suspension and braking components in a good condition. Driver's side tyre has 4 millimetres across the tread. And again, the outside wall in a good condition. Again, three months recheck. Got the battery free from any damage. As we come to the rear, passenger side, suspension components in good condition. Brakes, inner edge has some slight corrosion on the inner face. Advised for a three months recheck. Let's come to the tyre. We've got 4.4 millimeters across the tread. And again, the outside wall in good condition. Just a three months recheck. Just come across the driver's side, the suspension components in a good condition again, slight corrosion on the inner edge. Very much be checked for the rear brakes. Just come to the tyre, we have 3.9 millimetres. And again, out of sidewall in a good condition, just three months we check as well. Um, it depends on if I can pull it across and get it to physically add to the things. If I can, I will show you the complete video of their service on the underside of the car because that's what. The thing it shows you the brakes and everything and any rust and stuff like that so they did that on top of that they also did all the updates to my software and there will be another video because some of the I haven't I'm not sure if I found all of the updates or can tell what some of the updates are because some of them aren't visible but some of them are and one of them is in the sat nav. So we, we'll look at that at a different time. So we had the car away from half past eight in the morning when he picked it up and it arrived back to me just before three o'clock. I have the piece of paper. And I don't know if you'll make out because it's white and not very, uh, and not very big. So I don't know if you could make any of that out, but the car actually came back and it cost me nothing. 
for them to have a look at and do the things like that. There were, they carried out a free vehicle health check uh, and they had a quick look at the 12 volt battery um, because I said about uh, the battery alts turning on all the time. Now, if they investigate anything, it's supposed to cost £89, which seems a bit a bit much. But I had said that well, it doesn't need to be looked at if there's some software that's being updated that's aimed at the battery. So, um, but they still they did the check and they didn't charge us anything for it. Um, they carried out an AVN unit update. I'm not sure what AVN is. But... I did end up with a new granny charger that isn't the same as the granny charger that I had. It turned up and it has this little plastic like shield around it. And I know it's not mine because it still has the pull off, but it didn't come in a plastic bag. So I'm not sure if it was new or what, but it's just not the same. Um, I keep going that. We had the car looked at, and it didn't cost anything, because whatever the unit update was, it was a recall, and it was free. And the updates of the software are free, which does seem a little unfair to the garage. That, it, But the thing comes is that we don't want unnecessary costs, because they could just say, well, come near the garage and plug it in yourself and do it yourself yeah but one battery I have no information on the big battery they, they didn't do any oh, it's hot in here uh, they didn't do any updates or checks on that and I didn't get any report on battery status or anything like that but as I said they did check underneath the car and they looked at the brakes and all of that lot so, we will do another video on how all their changes have affected the car. But right now, I had the car looked at and work done on it, and it cost nothing. So you can't say that is an unfair price. <laughs> so, don't be put off, and it is, un it is unfair that people get charged for updates. Because if they were allowed to do the updates themselves, they would be able to do it. So, with that, car went away for one day, had a service, came back, and they even, they cleaned my car mats. I was going to do it before they took it away, and I forgot. And when they came back, I noticed that the car mats didn't have the rubbish on it that they had on it because it had bits of sand and grit and stuff didn't have any of that they didn't wash the car they didn't charge the car but they cleaned the mats and that lot i was surprised they didn't charge the car since you would have thought that any time an electric car goes into their garage they would charge it back up um the mileage it's 11 miles there and back to the garage they are used 15 miles with a range for that 11 miles that's simply because they left the car turned on to do all the updates or it would have drained the battery down. So probably about three hours of updates was what was scheduled, what was listed on the first bit of paper that I've seen. It's just a pity I don't have a list of the updates that were done on the car. But they're all the updates up to Wednesday gone. So anything that the car should have had as an update, I got it all, all in one go. One very big hit. So, th at least three hours they estimated the updates were going to take. So, most of my time the car was in the garage, it was getting updates and having a quick look at. So, with that, servicing and having a c your EV looked at shouldn't be as dear as what you think. All good. See you in the next video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Bye for now.